isn't about race. No, it's not about race. What is it about? Because you, it's about man's inhumanity to man. That's what it's about. But it's about white supremacy. It's well, about no, it's, not, it's, it's not about I mean, race. I can't see them. Them. But these are two so white much. groups of people. Well, How do we have to black them? see them as white men. But you're missing the point. You're yeah. missing the point. Yeah. The minute you turn it into race, it goes down this alley. Let's talk about it for what it is. It's how people treat each other. So, first of all, I want to know, do I say Jewish community? Do I say Jew, the Jewish race? Race? No, really. Do I say Jewish religion? Like, what do I say? I, I just need, I need to know, like, I don't want to say the Jews, because, you know, I'm not, like, you say the blacks, like, am I, <laughs> you know, people gonna feel away, you know, say the blacks, so, I don't want to. I don't want to say the Jews. I don't know. It just. I don't know. If it feels weird. So just the 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 whole. Oh Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. So I, I let me just tell you how I stumbled upon this. Yesterday I saw Whoopi Goldberg trending. I said, you know, what? I'm not gonna deal with it. I don't even want to know. So I just left it alone. Today I see Whoopi Goldberg Holocaust. I said, oh Lord, what did you say, Whoop? Ghost? What did you say, No. <laughs> Jack, what did you say? Oh Lord, Eddie, what did you say? Sister, what did you say, Whoopi? You told Hopo to beat me? What did you say, Whoopi? So, we listened to what she said, and my first reaction was, mm-hmm, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't see anything wrong with what you said. I don't, I don't see what's wrong, what was wrong with what you said? That was my first reaction. So then I see that she was suspended for two weeks. I said, she was suspended for two weeks? What you suspended for two weeks for? For saying that? She was suspended for two weeks for saying that? Okay, so she didn't apologize. No, she did apologize. She apologized? What did she say? She said I was wrong in what I did and I see the error in my ways. I misspoke and um, my intent was not to to anger anyone and things of that nature. Okay. And she said that after she was suspended? No, she said that before she was suspended. Wait, what? So she said she apologized the day after, recognized she was wrong, said she was misinformed, and she was still suspended? Yeah! <laughs> what was she suspended for? So she gonna learn the error of her ways. <laughs> it's like, Okay, so, but that's ABC thing. That's a corporation thing. So I'm like, I looked up, I was I was watching other blogs. So I don't want to hear about my people talking about us because I know how we feel. You know, not that we're all a monolith, but I have an idea. So I was like, okay, I know how we feel. I don't want to hear the news talk about because I know how the news is reading off a teleprompter. So they're not having their own thought. So I'm like, okay, let me see some people from the Jewish Community religion -y. <laughs> Talk about this. So, they were saying, yes, it's a race. That the Holocaust was about a race. It was about a race. Hitler deemed Jewish people as a race and deemed Hitler and the Aryan nation as a superior race. So, therefore, they committed genocide with the people. I said, okay, so, first of all, so y'all just going to ignore the fact that what we said that this was inhumane and that the focus of this was man being wrong, man being wrong, which man is part of gender, which is a social construct. And so that it's about race, which is a social construct, even though us black folk and people in the United States consider it a religion, which is a social construct. Do you know, you, you see where I'm going with this? It's all made up. We weren't born as a social construct, we, social construct was about man made. So let me get this straight. You want to suspend to Whoopi, or you did it, but the, the corporation ABC felt pressure to suspend Whoopi to get, her, to get people to realize that Jews were a race, but isn't this how we all got here in the first? 
I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe I'm not understand. So y'all, y'all were y'all. So let me get this straight. The Holocaust was about race. I don't, I don't want to make sure I'm saying that. It was about race. It was about religion. It was about it was about race. Correct. Correct. Okay. But today we don't see Jewish people as a race. Will that not be a victory? Will that not be a victory that we don't consider y'all, y'all? We don't consider Jewish people race, communion, a, a race. Should that not be a victory? No, never forget. Never forget. Never forget about what our people went through. Like, no, we we know it was an inhumane thing. We don't care about the race part. We know it was inhumane. And genocide with any community is wrong. <laughs> we know that. Because we went through our stuff. We know that. And black people never could. You know what? We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. I was going to say. Black people never committed mass genocide or anything, but yeah, we're feared in America, but committed all. But, you know, that's a different story for another time. Um, but yeah, we know that. We we, we know the Holocaust was wrong. Isn't that the point to, to let you know that it was wrong? It was inhumane? And the focus should be that it was inhumane. Why is the focus that it was about race? You can say, well, okay, cool. Civil rights wasn't about race. Slavery was about race. It was about inhumanity. Well, yeah. <laughs> we will uphold that and we didn't still deal with race today. <laughs> we, as black folk, will uphold. Yeah, slavery wasn't about race. It's about inhumanity. We will up not argue that and we didn't still deal with the same tendencies of slave owners and what they do today. Shout out to the police, which is why we created Black Lives Matter. But then you tell us all lives matter. So then it's not about race then. So when we say it's about race, oh, it's not about race. I don't, I don't even see race. I don't see race. Hmm. I don't see race. When black folks say it's about race, when we bring up race, oh, I don't see race. Why you got to bring up race for it? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think all the people in the world, you, you do a Stephen Wonder speech, I don't know all the people in the world, and I just don't think that, Black folk and white folk and Jews and Gentiles and Christians and Muslims and so it's not about race when we bring up race. <laughs> Do you see where we're going? So you expect a black woman that lived through Jim Crow civil rights before civil rights before she had the ability to vote, you know, she was a kid. You expect her to identify Jews as a race. <laughs> In the United States, you want to tell her it was about race. Okay. Once again, I'm not even going to argue that it's about race. I'll, I'll agree with you it's about race. If you want to agree with that. I'm not debating that. I'm not debating that it was about, I'm not here to have a race debate. That's what the problem is. We spend so much time focused on race. Now we don't focus on nothing else. And I hear you right now. But then why are you focus on Black Lives Matter and NAACP? Because we're in proportionately. <laughs> we are not given a voice. Anytime we have a voice, somebody is either thrown in jail, seen as crazy. Anytime the black community has a voice and we say, we need this, we need that, we have issues with this, we have issues with that. We try to create our own community with the black Wall Street and it got burned down. But I'm sure that wasn't about race. Sure, it wasn't. It was about inhumanity, right? <laughs> right. Just like Jim Crow, it wasn't about race. It was about inhumanity. Cool. You know what? We all gonna agree it's about inhumanity. But Trayvon's death was a decade just a decade ago. Yeah, I'm sure that wasn't about race. George Floyd was two, almost two years ago. Yeah, I'm sure that wasn't about 
great. Yeah, uh, I just saw black women are being abducted, kidnapped. Nobody's talking about it. Yeah, I'm sure that's not about race. But you want us to identify race with y'all. Okay, cool. That's cool. That's cool. And I know what black people go through. It got nothing to do with Jewish community goes through. I understand. So why would I bring this up? Because what you may identify with is not what we identify with. We might not see things the same way. So instead of trying to cancel, educate. Educate. That's like me, if I went to college and they were talking about historical history, history class in college, and they said, oh yeah, the Holocaust was about race. And I said, no, uh, no, it wasn't about race. It was about inhumanity, about man, how man was inhumane. Go home. Give me the go home, Roger. Go home. Or give me the Urkel. Go home, go home, go home, go home. You know what? I have to take this. I'm going home. <laughs> so now, not only did you send me home, but now I got sent home and I'm paying for a class that I didn't get to see all the way through. So now that was jeopardizing me being being able to take care of a test or exam, a final, and might not go to might not be able to graduate and go across that stage because I was possibly misinformed. So then I come back the next after two weeks, and what I miss? Oh, you miss this, this, and that, and that. You gotta catch up on this and this and that, and that. So instead of informing me, you send me home, and I'm going for two weeks. I come back. Not only am I behind on my homework, I'm behind on my exams, I'm behind. Now I gotta try to catch up. You, you see where I'm going? <laughs> All because I was potentially misinformed. So if the goal is to inform, because I hear this all the time, we want to make sure people don't forget about the inhumanity. They say we won't make sure people don't forget about the inhumanity. They say it before they even say race. We want to make sure people forget about the inhumanity and the inhumane genocide that happened. Nobody got to bring up race. <laughs> You're only upholding what Hitler tried to... <sighs> we are not each other's enemies. I don't want this to be a thing all the time where it's race versus race. My race was worse than your race. Your race was worse than my race. Our race struggles is different than your struggles. I don't want nobody wins when the family feuds. I don't want to make this a race thing or a race war or a struggle war or and in the day humanity is effed up. <laughs> and we're trying to approve upon that. But when we shun other people and t even when they apologize and admit they're wrong and tell you still stay in that corner though. That doesn't help. Us as black folk, can I say this? What we see, when we see what happens to Whoopi Goldberg, we say, oh, that's a superior race. That's when we identify race for Jews. Oh, that's not, that's not a superior race right there. Right? The thing that you don't want us to do, we identify with that when you try to get us canceled, get us fired, do things of that nature. We're not even going to talk about the communities back in the day. We're not, we're not, we're not going to do that. About the 50s and 60s. We're not, going, we're not even going to talk about that. <laughs> Instead of us working together and trying to help one another and, edu and really educate in public, <laughs> we want to... Okay. If Jewish people is not a race, I'm fine with I don't care. The focus is we know Holocaust and things of that nature is completely wrong, should never be tolerated ever again, it should never happen again. That's why when we say stuff like stuff like MAGA or things of that nature, like we, we see where that's going, where people can storm a capital. <laughs> people storm the capital. Building, federal government building because of one man's voice. We deem that dangerous. Now that's dangerous. Hmm? Now that's dangerous. We don't forget race or whatever. That's 
dangerous. Okay? So, we're not each other's enemies. We're not trying to turn. Bro. All we are saying is, give peace a chance. All we are saying is, give peace a chance. All we are saying, put hands in the air, everybody. Give peace a chance. Bring it home. All we are saying is give peace a chance.